Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Um, thought of creating a quick video. Someone asked this question on LinkedIn. Kushagr, uh, Kushal Parikh asked this question that why there is a requirement of JMeter performance testing tool in most of the QA automation as dead job description as mandatory requirement. No doubt, JMeter tool should be known as, uh, as a QA professional, but uh, why it matters in automation job requirement? Even I had seen and interacted with many of QA automation SDETs <clears throat> who are rejected or not shortlisted just because of, of lacking of JMeter. Performance testing skills, even though he is well versed in automation and other automation tools like Selenium, Cypress, APM, Rest Assured, etc., does it matter? The most automation tools are more uh does it matter the most in automation testing job role or they want the entire QA department in one person? Okay, see, majorly that's question is that uh if we are really good in uh you know automation, really good in very well versed with tools like Selenium, Cypress, APM, Rest Assured, and everything, then what is the need of a J meter, a performance testing flare in that particular profile. And then why I'm getting rejected because of that. If I'm not good in performance testing or lacking in the performance testing, why it is like that. So uh, see, the answer is uh, simple. These days you have to be at the flavor of performance testing as well. This is very important because you are into the SJ tool. And this is a straightforward requirement and the expectation also from your side along with the functional testing that you have to be somewhere, you have to be good in the performance testing. You should understand that. See, you try to understand they are not going to hire a separate performance testing dedicated guy for this. So that's a technical requirement in automation. You are going to add some value with respect to performance. You have to add it. I used to do that 10 years back when I was in Walmart <clears throat> and Cisco and these kind of companies. I was a pure functional tester, but whenever it's required, I used to write the code in Gatling and JMeter once in a while because I was working with the e-commerce application of uh, Walmart during the Thanksgiving day, during the holiday season. A lot of transactions were happening. So we have to be ready with the performance script, make sure that my application is reaching and then uh, whatever the comparison that we are doing with respect to benchmarking, it's really justifying or not. So yes, that is part of uh, the your role and everything. This is what the expectation. You cannot bluntly say that I have no idea about JMeter or performance testing or something like that. And remember, JMeter is just a tool. It's just a performance testing tool. But the performance engineering, performance concept are very, very important in whenever you really want to learn any specific tool. The concept will remain same in all the tools, either it is JMeter, Gatling, or tre uh, or uh, whatever the number of tools that you are using, K6 and all those things, concept will remain same. So what are the advantages? JMeter is open source, absolutely free of cost. You can just simply start using it. Learning curve is also very straightforward. There is no special like uh, thing that you really need to uh, spend time on it. If you're coming from the automation background and you understand the API automation very well, then definitely you can easily learn the JMeter as well. It's very easy to a lot of resources, good community uh, available for the JMeter. It can be integrated easily with the CICD pipeline along with your functional automation in the main pipeline, you are running your functional test cases as well as you are running your uh, performance testing, performance test cases also that you are running it. It really <clears throat> can be integrated with the rest assured also later on it can be uh, part of CICD and then you can start running it over there. So you try to understand one more thing that these days the modern architecture, right? The modern requirement is that uh, application are more of a backend side, right? You have to focus more on the backend side, the API side, the lot of microservices and the services that they are creating it. So you have to make sure that, okay, there is a tool who can, which can monitor and which can analyze the performance of that particular API and give me the good confidence on the API. Because when you go to the production, right, majority of the bugs sometimes coming because of your load testing. Your functionality is absolutely working fine. The moment I increase the load in production, for example, then that functionality is broken because of the load testing or stress testing or the volume testing because of that, the issues are coming over here. So you have to make sure that, okay, you are dedicatedly creating an environment testing your application with the required load or benchmarking load and checking the stress level of that particular application as well. And number of tools are there in the market like JMeter is one of them, K6 or Gatling or N number of tools which are there, you can use and pick it accordingly, right? 
So that's why the companies are the again back to the question why why it is needed because companies are looking for they are not looking for a dedicated performance engineering guy because they really need the performance testing once in a while. It's not like it's a daily activity or somewhere like a, a daily routine activity that you have to do it. No, let's see once in two months or one month you just taking care about whatever the new APIs are getting developed or services are getting developed. You are checking and then. making sure that okay your performance test cases are getting passed along with that as well right so that's why they are looking for okay if you are having the flavor of performance testing along with the functional automation testing then in that case it is a good scenario it's a good thing that okay fine i don't need to you know allocate a separate budget only for the performance engineering guy or performance testing guy so uh, this guy i'm hiring who can handle the functional testing also plus as well as whenever it's required uh, this guy can handle the uh performance testing as well right so that's why like uh, you know you are actually better resource utilization that you are doing within the qa team that's very important here right another thing is that as i told you that uh, performance testing why they are focusing on it depends on the client to client and the project to project as well because performance testing or performance issues are actually directly impacting the business try to understand that it's impacting the revenue it's impacting the business if your application is down or feature is down because of that it's impacting the business you're losing the money you're losing the dollars over there so that's why that early performance issues are there through the performance testing that is always a better in the shift left also if you do that instead of going and then checking the performance testing later or maybe we will see that okay uh, sometime management say only just focus on the functional testing we will see performance testing later or we will check let we will check from the production directly let the uh, feedback come from the uh, from the customer then only they will decide no that's a bad approach you should always focus on the performance testing if you are expecting some good amount of load or high amount of load uh, during the specific peak season or peak hours or something and how exactly you your application is your functionality is behaving in that scenario in that case definitely you should do that so that's where the companies are also looking for getting me sure day by day that okay yeah why don't we hire a guy who can handle both the things together whenever it's required who can maintain the jbeter script as well as the regular selenium or playwright or a cypress script also there so that's why like it is improving the you know to achieve the goal with respect to shift left testing as well and then uh, impacting the business in the production better you just test it in advance instead of you know going after the production or uh, leaving the performance testing at all right <clears throat> so how to learn jmeter and all those thing it's very simple there are n number of tutorials are available you can go with that if you're coming from the api testing background it is very easy to understand that if you are uh, let's see have worked with the rest assured or having the knowledge about the backend and everything it will be very easy for you to automate uh, with jmeter the core concept of performance engineering as i told you very very important like the definition the percentile let's see 90 percentile 95 percentile range of a point and all those things how exactly you are going to monitor and analyze the result and everything with respect to performance testing that plays a very important role before any tool you have to understand the term you have to understand that what kind of use cases that we are going to solve with the performance testing it's not like it's totally different from your functional testing and remember one thing the functional testing once the functional testing is completely done then only we can just go with the performance testing once functional testing is completely done your application functionality is absolutely stable then we will apply we will create a separate let's see performance queue environment like that or test environment dedicately like similar kind of hardware or infrastructure that we set up for the pq environment the performance queue environment and then we try to write the script and then we try to check the performance of the back end and everything over there please avoid especially with respect to let's see please avoid the ui i would say the ui performance jmeter is not designed for that jmeter is especially designed for your back end your for your services for your protocols uh, testing with respect to performance it can do that right but not for the ui point of view that fine fine that we can do it there are tools which are there in the market that you can just check the performance of the ui also the loading the ajax and uh, images loading in the css uh, loading issues and all those things those kind of things that we can do it but not with the jmeter straight forward here right so that is what the it's very important here so i hope this is clear that uh, there's a simple short video that i really wanted to create i mean i really want to prepare that why it is needed because this is a need of the r this is why it's needed because uh, companies are looking for 
whenever it's required you can just contribute with respect to performance testing also as well but i totally understand this thing that uh just rejecting the candidate who is lacking in the performance testing and not aware of the performance testing i don't think so it's a right decision a person who is really good in the testing and the functional testing and the test automation as well and having very well versed with tools like selenium cypress or a playwright or apm or rest assured or whatever if you are good in that then it's no, not a big deal for that guy to you know learn about the jmeter or any kind of other xyz performance testing tool so i don't think so it's a fair enough that uh, you are getting rejected as straight forward just because of this particular reason but if you are getting rejected if you seeing that particular pattern then why don't you add that skill in your profile that's very much needed for the sd point of view as well so i hope it's clear and i i hope kushal uh, your answer is uh, uh, given from my side according to my experience my opinion this is what i think about it about the performance testing with jmeter thank you so much